Hi, this is Dr. Perry Carpenter. I'd like to thank you for taking the time to visit this website. This website is for attorneys who are involved in dealing with injured workers in the California Workers' Compensation System. And here you're going to find uh, home study continuing education programs uh, for attorneys that are approved by both the uh, Board of Legal Specialization for Workers' Compensation Specialist Attorneys uh, and also all of our continuing education programs are approved by the State Bar for general uh, MCLE credits. And uh, I'll uh, talk to you in a couple minutes about uh, some of the different types of home study programs that we offer for you. Uh, but before I do that, I just want to uh, share with you uh, how it is that this website came to be and how these uh, continuing education programs uh, came into uh, existence and fruition. Uh, I'm a chiropractor, uh, Perry Carpenter, D.C., and I'm a qualified medical evaluator. And uh, over the course of my career of doing QME examinations since 1995, uh, I've done approximately 1,500 QME examinations, and I've done approximately uh, 150 uh, depositions wherein I was the deponent. And several years ago, uh, somewhere around 2006 or 7 or 8, and in that time span, uh, I was scheduled for a deposition. And uh, like I usually do, I prepared uh, extensively for the deposition, and I reviewed my chart on this a particular injured worker and I reviewed my examination and all the range of motion findings and everything that I knew to do uh, as a competent and concerned doctor uh, to prepare for the upcoming deposition. And I always found depositions to be a little bit stressful because I never uh, could anticipate uh, what was coming at me uh, in the deposition. Well, after this one particular deposition, uh, I sat for some time and I spoke to uh, both the defense and the applicant attorney off the record. And after speaking with both of these parties, I realized that as the qualified medical evaluator, uh, I really had no knowledge uh, as to the needs of the other parties involved in the case. Now, as the qualified medical evaluator, I knew what my duties and my responsibilities uh, were, but I really had no uh, insight or idea as to the job duties and responsibilities and daily activities uh, that applicant attorneys are involved with and that defense attorneys were involved with. So I set out on a mission to learn more about the roles and duties of the applicant attorney and the roles and duties of the defense attorney. And I can honestly say that it literally changed everything. It changed my entire approach uh, to doing my QME exams, to preparing my QME reports, and also uh, in preparing for depositions. And as time went on uh, and I polished my procedures, I realized that uh, if it's possible that perhaps I as the qualified medical evaluator uh, had limited knowledge as to the roles and duties of the other parties involved with the case, uh, could it be possible that the other parties uh, had limited knowledge of the roles and duties and activities and processes and procedures that the qualified medical evaluator goes through and is involved with in examining uh, injured workers and in preparing those reports uh, and etc. And so I had the idea to produce continuing education home study programs for you as attorneys to educate you on some of the inside uh, secrets, some of the inside activities, some of the inside uh, thought patterns, some of the inside uh, procedures that the qualified medical evaluator goes through. And actually these programs are designed to bring you inside the mind uh, of the qualified medical evaluator. So I call these continuing education programs, uh, I call them QME training. Uh, for attorneys. Now I know attorneys are not doctors and so one of the um, philosophies of these home study programs is that uh, I simplify uh, some of the medical language for you, I simplify some of the medical procedures for you, I simplify some of the medical jargon 
uh, for you so that you can understand uh, what is actually going on when your client, if you're an applicant attorney, when your client uh, goes to their QME examination. Or if you're a defense attorney, what uh, the examinee uh, is being examined for and what the examinee is being questioned for. And uh, this will give you tremendous insight uh, into the procedures and the process of the qualified uh, medical examination or evaluation. And if you're an applicant attorney, this is going to tremendously uh, improve your capacity and your uh, procedures in managing uh, the case for your injured worker and it's also going to help you in uh, advising your injured worker uh, what they can expect when they arrive at their qualified medical examination. Now if you're a defense attorney uh, you're going to get tremendous insight into the procedures that take place uh, during the qualified medical examination and uh, this insight is going to be invaluable to you. And in each of my programs, uh, as we go through different points and procedures, I highlight how this information impacts the applicant attorney, and I highlight also how this inf information uh, would impact uh, the defense attorney. So uh, I hope you enjoy these programs. Uh, I've put a lot of thought, time, effort, and energy into pre preparing them for you uh, so that they will be a benefit for you. And I call these programs QME Training for Attorneys. So I want to encourage you to uh, look through the website and select a program title that you think uh, would be most applicable to you uh, at this point in time in your career and uh, at this point in the time of the cases that you're managing. And I also encourage you to check back uh, often because uh, we're rapidly adding titles uh, to our library and so we're constantly uh, researching new material and coming up with new ideas, all designed to help you uh, do a better job. So uh, again, I want to thank you. This is Dr. Perry Carpenter. Uh, thank you for joining me uh, and visiting me here on the website. Uh, I look forward to uh, perhaps meeting you in the future. And for now, I'm wishing you uh, best of success in your career.